What up guys, day 44, no fap, just been killing the no fap game. Um, and recently I was in kind of a slump, I guess through my life I would call it. Didn't really want to do much, room was a complete mess, uh, was drinking occasional beers every night. And right, that's not very occasional if you're drinking every night. And um, was suffering through a pretty gnarly slump. I didn't relapse. Didn't mess up my streak, but um, it sucked, man. And we all go through slumps. We all go through downs, and you know that's just life. It's like a roller coaster, man. Downs and ups. But I cleaned my room. That's actually really freaking clean. Desk is clean, and feeling really good. Had a really good day yesterday. Um, and uh, it kind of all started with um, my journaling. I used to journal all the time write down um wake up in the morning and the first thing i would write down in my journal is three things i'm grateful for and when you do that guys you literally set the tone for the rest of your day when you're grateful for stuff you end up just being grateful for everything in your life so that's a huge step in the positive direction so like if you want to have a better outlook on life or a better outlook on NoFap, just tell yourself, I'm grateful for NoFap, man. I'm grateful to be on this journey. Um, and those are certain like little things that can help you kind of move forward with NoFap. Um, day 44, man, feeling amazing. I'm, I'm slowly starting to kick into those, like I guess, longer benefits. Um, my last big relapse was day 47. If you guys haven't seen my video already, check it out. And... Um, I'm almost there, man. Three days from day 47, so that's pretty crazy. You know, it's pretty crazy that time already went that fast. And I want to get to day 50, I want to get to day 70, and I, I, I want to get to the whole year without doing it. Like, seriously, it's going to be a long time. And it feels good, man. It feels good to be making it this far. So, just hanging out here before work. I'm um, going to be a great day at work. Dude, my attitude's already better. You know, usually my attitude's like, it's going to be sit shitty at work. Dude, it's going to be a great day. So if you wake up and tell yourself that it's going to be a good day, then the day's going to be good, you know, no matter what. But anyway, I'm um, planning on my bike trip still, kind of dinking around with uh, s stuff I need to get together. It's so hard to plan a bike trip because you want to try to plan everywhere you're staying every single night. But I've been reading a lot and that doesn't happen the majority of the time. The majority of the time, you're going to have to either camp in the wild or, you know, work extra hard and bike extra hard to get to your destination to camp either at a campsite or, you know, if you're staying with somebody, maybe you stay in, in somebody's yard and put your tent in your yard or something like that. And kind of just thinking about that lately and thinking about other ways I can put money aside uh, for this big trip and, you know, stay in California because that's what I really want to do. But till next time, guys, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.